Hey guys, uh, the other cannon self-destructed when I put too tight of a projectile on the board. So I made another one. This is my first uh, big cannon, obviously. It's only my second cannon. So I went from uh, 3 by one and a half to 4 by 2 It's got a 2 inch bore. It's 4 foot long. It's coaxial, which means I can load it from this end. I put a, a double bevel on the bore so that it slices the potato and wedges it in there good. Uh, I got an electric igniter from uh, eBay and uh, these are little 632 screws that go through and form a little spark gap. If you can hear it. Yeah. So uh, a little more dangerous because all you got to do is just barely touch it and BADOOM! So you got to make sure that you're not loading it and screwing around at the same time. It takes a lot more spray. I'll show you. It's also uh, really pretty much incredibly powerful. About twice as powerful as the other one. And uh, I just put a ton of spray in there. Puff it a lot and move it around, blah, blah, blah. And because the spark is way at the other end, uh, the flame front rolls from the front to the back. And uh, that makes a nice amount of pressure show you just what I'm talking about. Okay, you're looking at that ball over there. A lot of recoil too on this one. Okay, yeah, really pretty much a super duper cannon. Love it. It's got a nice balance point when you pick it up. You know the weight of it. It's right on the handle. The sparker works perfect every time. You can hear it every time, so you know it's just so much better than the other one. And it was cheaper. Now I know that uh, there's some concern about these kinds of fittings, okay? But I've cast uh, West System epoxy and uh, uh, colloidal silica mixed in a mix, and I filled up that entire funnel area. So that's totally solid epoxy up against the tube. So it's pretty freaking awesome. And uh, yeah, this isn't the you know nicest thing. I'd like to have done something maybe a little different at the end, but I can always whack it off and uh, glue something else on there. I was thinking maybe uh, a male thread, female thread, then I could have a little bit longer cap, and then the coaxial part would stick out further. Because right now it's a little tricky getting the potato in there, but it works.